We had a lot of conversation. Are you eating my ice cream? Don't let her know. Let who know? I'm here. I'm right hey. here. Give me my ice cream back. Say hi, guys. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, basically, beautiful. this is just where we do design. And then we send that to... This is beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's so aesthetic. And then oh, the <laughs> stop! <laughs> See, now I'm yeah. safe. Look at this. Yeah, you actually look really good in them. Yeah, wow, you look you, cute. Stoggles is actually one of Zenas' clients and we managed to head down to their office in Pasadena. Clearly, Stoggles is an eyewear company where they don't only focus on looking good and stylish, they prioritize safety with blue light and 100% UV blocking on their eyewear. It's practically sunscreen but on our eyeballs. <laughs> then they were keen to check out our van so we took them for a mini tour. Seriously, you guys should really consider trying the van life. All that has happened throughout my three weeks of van life is beyond me. Don't say bochua. Huh? So that was fun. That was fun. We had such a good time meeting the guys from Suggles and hearing their story and then just talking about stuff. And then we had to ask them Where for food recommendations. Eat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. We got two fish tacos and two carne asada beefs. And then we also got one beans and one rice. Date night! <laughs> oh. Okay, so this rice looks really fluffy. The beans. Oh, they look great, man. Real beans. Yeah, that's what the beef tacos look like. And the fish tacos. It's a grilled fish. I was kind of expecting like deep fried, but mm -hmm. wow, they're really generous with their fish portion. Like half a fish. I'm gonna try it without any sauce first. The tortilla is good. The fish doesn't have a lot of flavor. The veggies are fresh, but definitely I want one of these sauces on it. We're gonna do green. Okay, green sauce time. Mmm. Okay. Green sauce is really good. It's with like, the fish? Yeah. Okay. Really nice. I imagine it's pretty packed with flavor. The flavor is amazing. It's a double tortilla. It's bready, so it's really good because it's soaked up all the sauce. The beef is very fresh. Not very tender, but it has a good bite. It does not really fall apart in your mouth. You need to chew a little bit, but the flavor is super good, super fresh. A little bit too salty for my palate, but I really like that the onions sort of break the, the saltiness a little bit. Um, and if you don't like coriander, I'm sorry, but it really does something to make the dish really hot. We just ordered a soft shell crab roll and it's called a Spider Man roll. Cute, huh? That's not what the crab thinks about it. Oh. This is a Spider Man roll. It's slathered in sauce always. Everything is just really sweet in America. Yeah, cool. Two different Asian sauces in one. But it's nice, you know? You eat it for like the combination of interesting ingredients inside a sushi roll. Oh, and this one has pineapple on top. Your favorite. Oh. Later. I forgot to give Uncle Z soy sauce. He like Tulan. He went to the next table and own self take. <laughs> Let me show you how much salmon is inside. It's a big chunk. I think the brown sauce is actually teriyaki sauce. Yeah. Their um, avocado is super creamy. Mm. And actually the pineapple on the top, it's a very unique flavor. The flavor combi is very nice. Now we try the dragon roll. I'm sorry, dragon. Even on top of the rice, there's more, more tuna. There's a lot of flavor in that. But I like it that it's spicy. That's not spicy, spicy. It has a bite. A little bit. It. Yeah. We're going hiking and Lucas is going to be our hiking guide. Right, Lucas? <laughs> yes. So Yinyin says that this is a good area to like celebrity spot. So we might spot some celebrities. Oh! Oh, I spot her already! <laughs> 
And that's Yin Yin, another Singaporean who has been staying in the States for 30 years now, and she took us hiking with her dog Lucas. What a cutie, oh my god. Remember Tian from San Francisco? Well, we met Yin Yin through the same Facebook page, Singaporeans in Americas. And she took us hiking at the Will Rogers State Historic Park. So, Will Rogers was a popular and one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood back in the 1930s. And this historic park was his ranch estate, which was made public by his wife as a memorial for her husband. Come on, friend. Check out the house. Beautiful. We're gonna end up there? Yep, that's where we're heading. I'm sure the view will be beautiful. During our hike, Yin Yin shared how it's like being Singaporean in America and why she chose to move here. She even took time off work to bring us around. Thank you so much, Yin Yin. You are the best. Afterwards, we all had Italian for dinner at John and Vinny's, which was highly recommended by many people actually, then grabbed some ice cream for dessert. This place is called Sweet Rose Creamery, but there's two kids scoops, guys. Two kids scoops. Meanwhile, four flavors, two cones, all oh mine. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's Thank you so you. much. It's so nice to see you. We, we love, love you, you Yin, Yin Yin. Thank you so much for your time and love. So my eyebrows have been like a mess because they're growing really long. Zenas is trying to get me to use his his shaver so I can like trim the the you know these stragglers. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, it's doing it! Just cutting the little, like the really long hairs, that's all I really need. Fan life grooming! Oh my god! Guy's got secrets we don't know shit about. So Zenus needs to get his eyes checked, apparently. So he's gone to Target Optical to get that done. So as you can probably see, I am at the optometrist. I've been having a little bit of trouble seeing some of the signs and I'm like, it didn't used to be this hard. It's been about 10 years since I've been living in Singapore and I just haven't changed my prescription that entire time. So now that I'm doing so much driving, I really notice it. So I just finished at the optometrist and I need a new prescription. Yeah, this is great. I can already tell that I can see much more clear than I used to. You know, safety is really important. So if you're driving and you can't see right, optometrist. This is Rachel. Cute, huh? That's Rachel for you. She and I went to acting school together about seven years back, and then she visited Singapore with her mom once, where we got to bring her around town, so now the tables have turned. <laughs> she brought us to the super posh Beverly Hills so we can dine at the famous Sugarfish. I'm gonna get the Nizawa, trust me. Yeah, so are we. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Easy peasy. Yep. Yes. We're gonna get that. It's known for its incredibly fresh sushi and every bite is of stellar quality. I promise, okay? They said it was going to take an hour and a half for us to get seated and mm -hmm. I, we didn't want to wait that long. So I, I just said things that were true. Correct. Which is that I was with my friends yeah. who were from Singapore. Yeah. And that they had recently gotten engaged. Correct. And I smiled and said, please. And the dimples help. And, and I have dimples. <laughs> and they saw us like 45 minutes earlier than they originally said they would. That's all. Everything's fine. I didn't break any rules. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs a Rachel when they're in LA. <laughs> Best campaign manager and <laughs> best table finder. That's right. Oh my god. And now we are going to Salt and Straw, which is the best specialty ice cream in Los Angeles. Okay, so you see they're classic flavors. See the classic flavors. When I have friends in town, I'll bring yeah. them to Salt and Straw and I'll be like, oh, these are my friends from out of town, and they'll be like, okay, we're gonna sample every single flavor. Oh my god. Yeah. Definitely trying the caramelized turkey and Yeah, 100%. What would you like to try? I would love to try the sweet potato pie. Sure. Wow. Oh. Look at that. Oh, that's really good. 
Well, you just ate it all. Yeah, you had half. Oh. I didn't want half half. Oh, yeah, you rock. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what is that? That one is... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Like obviously the classic flavors were different, and my all-time favorite. Get me cute, huh? Go cheese with waffle and riddle. I will have a kid-sized candy walnut cheesecake in a waffle cone. Thank you. <laughs> Making sure I can finish this, you know. Everything is bigger in America. Look at that. <laughs> this is a kid size, man. Like technically next to my face. This is a kid size. I'm not complaining. Flashback. Are you eating my ice cream? Give me my ice cream back. Well, you just ate it all. End of flashback. What did you get again? I got a split scoop because I'm indecisive. Mm -hmm. I got half candied walnut cheesecake. And then once I'm done with that, I'll have honey lavender. Mm. Do those things go together? No. Why are you eating them separately anyway? <laughs> so I feel like we have to debrief about that sushi that we had at Sugarfish. I knew LA had the best... Uh, I hate to say this because I'm gonna be attacked left, right, and center, but like that's what I remember when I was studying here. Like Japanese food in LA is just so great. They have these hybrid sushis and then, you know, they have Pacific water fish. We highly recommend. Yeah, absolutely. Go. Sugarfish. Let us know in the comment section if you've ever eaten so much that you can't breathe because that just happened to me tonight. Very satisfying, but I really cannot breathe right now. For lunch the next day, we met up with some of Zenus's Singaporean friends living in the US and they brought us to a Malaysian restaurant there. Everything there from their snacks to spices made us feel like we're back home and oh, finally I found sambal in America! The smell is so cute. Potato samosa. Yeah. The sauce Not is very bubbly, spicy. But, we have the uh, sweet chili sauce. I like how bite sized they are. The flavor is good, but mild. I think as people who live in Southeast Asia, we want it like right spicy. up in your face. Yeah, like. <coughs> oh, that is good. So, that is damn good. Huh? Yeah, it's so like good. massive portions. driving through the campsite, but you can see there's a place you can park yeah. and then you can set up your tent. Literally, it's a little parking space and there are rock formations around it um, to tell you where you can pitch your tent, which is next to your car or in front of your car. So we basically set up just a couple of chairs and then we sat down here and watch the beautiful stars. I wish we could share everything with you, but we can't. Guess you'll just have to come here for yourself. One man's trash is another man's baggage. Slow you down, I ain't going nowhere. Space Good morning. Good morning. So this is where we slept last night. Ain't we up there? Cause you always want to touch me My phones will leave you bleeding There are a couple hiking trails at Joshua Tree National Park for you to check out. One of the few we went to was the Barker Dam Trail. This features a loop trail that's barely two kilometers long with beautiful wildflowers and is pretty decent even for beginners. Believe me One more shot, one more brow It is completely dry. Well, damn. <laughs> Sorry. Why do you think it's dry like this? So California and maybe this, just the West Coast in general right now is going through a severe drought. Oh. And there just hasn't been enough rainfall recently for any water to accumulate. Where does California get its water from then? So California mostly gets its water from the from the northern area. The Colorado River flows down into California mm -hmm. and a lot of water comes from that. Another popular and scenic hiking trail is the Hidden Valley Nature Trail. This is also an easy loop trail, but it's surrounded with massive boulders and the famous Joshua trees. 
Joshua Tree National Park is called Joshua Tree National Park because of its Joshua trees. That was pretty obvious, wasn't it? They look like they come straight out of a Dr. Seuss book, which is what makes them so unique. The rocky landscapes make it a great place to climb or boulder around. Z loves it. Wait! Who are you? You know who I am. I do? Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man! All right, we have finished our shower. I have moisturized, which is the most important thing to me. It is kind of amazing that we can just have a shower wherever we want. Yeah, it's amazing. We just parked by the side of the road and here yeah. we are, fresh. Yeah, so we, we just finished hiking in Joshua Tree, yeah. which is beautiful, but oh my God. really sandy, gritty, mm -mm. like just hiking, you're like, feeling dusty yeah um but it was an absolutely wonderful place to visit so beautiful i've never seen anything like the joshua tree actually a desert i've never been in a desert in my life so mm. um if you're around the area if you're thinking of taking a holiday joshua tree is definitely a, a place to consider and put on your list look mom in jail i love la it's the place for me I want to stay and live there endlessly Cause I love L.A. For reasons why we'll most have got a few The heat is dry, the skies are clear and blue spend a lot of time eating with friends and hiking on this LA feature but it's because we'll be looping back and spending a good week here at the end of the 81 days before we fly back to Singapore so we're gonna keep all the best parts of LA for then oh yeah remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you next time where we'll be eating a $99 burger in Vegas, Vegas baby, baby. The whale burger is $99 guys should we just eat a normal burger Better get a load of fucking the hell about before we head back to Vegas.